when you do get into a relationship and maybe it's been going on for a while, the kind of idea that we have around looking for someone who's going to allow us to be who we are, accept us with our minus two. I still feel like there is this honeymoon period, for lack of a better way to say it, where you do show up and accept your partner with their faults. I often think about my grandma's relationship with my grandpa because to me, they were in love, but she was always harping. (laughs) She just was like always upset with him, yelling at him over the things that I found kind of charming. And I imagined that when they first got together, Maybe those were the things that she was drawn to. And then suddenly those things became the things that annoyed her. That's a long-winded question. And I guess I'll let you just take it where you want to take it. As a creative and as an artist, I'm a big believer in not worshiping the past. I'm not a fan of idolizing our grandparents' marriages. It was a different world. They were in a different environment. And when you think about the age-old roles that men and women played. It really wasn't an ideal situation, especially for the women. So I'm not here to romanticize them. I'm not here to say that grandma and grandpa did it better than us. We live in a much, much different world, a hyper-connected world, a hyper-saturated world 